How did you feel? What was the feeling you had then when you were entering the flight? Stressed. Okay, stressed. What about the rest of you? Excited. Excited? Trying to watch the TV. Pardon me? I'm happy. You were happy? Yeah, happy. Curious? Curious? Excited. Excited? I was ready, but I did not know what I was getting. <laughs> I was ready, I did not know what you were going to get. And then, and then you checked into Park Plaza, and then on the first day, I started telling you what to expect from Supermasters. And um, I, I, I told you a rather strange thing. I told you that, uh, that you're going to be picking up a project and you're going to be completing it. And what would have taken months to complete, that you're going to complete it in, in six to seven days. And then I told you, not only will you do that, you will be learning how to sing well and you'll be modeling harmony, and you're going to be mastering conversational programming, and you're going to strengthen all the concepts of EIT. And then during that journey, there were days when you thought, am I really going to complete a project? Uh, some of you had um, things going on, and uh, you hit bottlenecks. And then you finally found how to overcome them. You completed your project. Or some of you made a significant progress in your project. And on the last day, you surprised yourself again. You saw the leap you made when you made that finale, the, the stories, the song. And then you did this ritual yes. to reinstate that all that learning is going to gonna go all the way through your life. And then you had some pause. And then we shifted to this venue. It was a breath of fresh air. The sound was good. And the day started well. And yesterday evening when we summarized, you went through an entire list. And it appeared like, did we really finish so many things in that one moment, one day? And at that moment, I saw some of you say, it's the best decision to have come here. And I was going in my head, well, the best is yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> and today morning, we start with your stories again. And you saw how you and each of you made a, such a big leap. And then we continue to learn. And this evening, we created together one of the best hypnotic inductions that exist for enhancing charisma in the world. And then you took that presence with you outside. You were singing songs there. You were talking amongst yourself. It was so beautiful that if someone just walked into the room, they have now known that there's something special about all of you here. There was charisma in the air, there was love, there was that resonance between people. And now you are here in charisma intensification with Haruni and me. And I know that tomorrow is going to be better, and the day after is going to be even more better, more intensification. <laughs> and I can only imagine what that means to you when your stories reverberate through people's heart, when you tell them, Maybe on videos, maybe in person, maybe in big seminar halls. Can you imagine? When you tell your story and they tell your story, and then somehow it comes back here to you, and you feel like your story has become alive. It has a life of its own and is going beyond where you can personally reach. And it's taking you there. At that moment, you will remember this moment. <laughs> when you look back, you'll remember that I told you that your presence is going to tell your story. And your story is going to take you where no one has gone before. And how would you feel at that moment, when you look back from that moment, back at this day, how would you feel? Gratitude. <laughs> Gratitude. OK. And magical. And what else? Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. awesome. Yes. And blessed. It all, here. it all started here. And what else? No single word can define the feeling. But I know you'll be proud to look back at yourself, yes. to have been taking all this with you together. Wouldn't you be? OK. <laughs> Lovely. So now I want you to learn the specific pattern I did with you. It's called the infinity strategy. OK. So there's a structure to what we just did. And uh, I'm going to show, I'm going to share with you what impact it has and how you can use them in your storytelling. OK. First of all, but I, I, this is called the 
I call this the infinity loop or infinity strategy. So you, you know the infinity symbol? Yes. OK. So imagine at the center is the current moment. OK. And to the left is the past, and to the front is the future. So what you do is, especially in a training program, yesterday, for example, let's take the example of yesterday. What happened? Just before we got together, what happened? The, the projector didn't work. So we did an amazing day in the morning. You had an amazing day in the evening. But the ending state was like, <laughs> so what do you do? I mean, imagine if I left you to go back <laughs> with that state. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would have been deletion, selective deletion of everything that happened. So instead, what we did was we gathered together. And I said, let's summarize today. And what happened when we summarized today? Got excited. You got excited. Yeah, it was collective energy. Yeah. Each le just realized how much you've learned, we yes. So it was like a chaining anchor, just like stacking anchor. You went to every revelation. Remember, the revelations happened spaced out in time. But when we did it together, the revelations happened all together at once. So it's like an intense anchor. What do you do with that anchor? You connect it to the present, to you, and spiral it all the way to the future. future. And then from there, you bring it back to the present. present. What does it do? First of all, it creates a future. See, because when you think about the future, the state you are in determines how exciting that future is going to, going to be. So when I bring all that amazing learning together, and you're in that state, and then I get you to see the future, what does it do to you? In your mind, you create such a compelling fu future that you may not have otherwise created. And it also feels real. And it feels real, right? So you're creating a future. It feels real, and it's compelling, and it's amazing, right? So now, from seeing that future there, I have to teleport you to that future. How do I do that? You remember the tense called future present? And as you're there, you look around, and the world is so different. That's future present. OK, so far, so good. Now you do one more step, and it, and it just multiplies the effect. From there, you get the person to look back at the present. And from there, when you look back at today, you would know that this is such a charismatic start. OK, so now when a person goes to the future and then looks pres back to the present, what pattern is that that you covered in Supermasters? Path to success. Path to success. So not only are you taking them, you not only are you building that energy and taking them there, from there, linguistically, you're getting them to do path to success. success. And you can do all of that conversationally. And you can do it in five minutes, two minutes, sometimes in 30 seconds. OK, this, this strategy I call as the infinity loop. It creates time distortion as well. It creates the feeling that you have lived that one year with this person already. Mm -hmm.